Business class upgrade if there is room. I used to work at a regional airline. The jet we used for our flight to the big city had six business class seats. The business class service was really good for a two-hour flight. It included a full bar service, a hot meal, warmed bread basket, followed by a trolley with dessert and signature coffee. The good old days. One of our regular travelers was a local business owner who was just a slimy businessman. SB. He had a reputation for making a lot of money from some pretty shady deals over the years. We would roll our eyes when we saw him coming to the check-in counter because he would always name, drop and ask for special treatment. He always used the business class check-in line even though he was usually in economy. He didn't have frequent flyer status. But he was buddies with one of the airline executives and always let us know this fact when he checked in by making sure to tell us that he was good friends with Vice President Karen. He would always ask for free upgrades, extra baggage, not charging a change fee, last-minute discounts, etc. If he didn't get what he wanted he immediately called VP Karen, who would usually then call us and approve whatever it was he wanted. So one day SB checks in for his flight to the big city, and of course name drops and asks for a free upgrade to business class because I'm friends with VP Karen and said it would be okay. He was traveling on a discounted ticket that was not eligible for upgrade even if he did have an upgrade coupon, which he didn't. I informed him that he was not eligible for any upgrade on this ticket and gave him his boarding pass and sent him on his way. Of course he flips open his cell phone and immediately calls VP Karen. Within two minutes the phone at the check-in desk rings and it's VP Karen authorizing me to override the policy to upgrade SB to business class with no upgrade coupon required, if there is room. The flight that day wasn't that busy and only one person booked in business class leaving five open seats. I was really irritated but I begrudgingly put SB on the upgrade list anyways. He returned to the check-in counter and picked up his standby boarding card and gave me that smug. Told you so, look. But then what VP Karen said clicked with me, if there is room. The next passenger I checked in was a super nice lady. Big smile. Friendly. Please and thank you. Oh thank you so much for checking my bags to my connecting flight. That's so nice of you. I was taking my time and we were chatting a bit since it wasn't that busy. She was a teacher going on a trip to see her family and it was her first visit with them in over a year and was going to meet her new little nephew for the first time. She was overjoyed just to have the time off to travel. I typed in a few things into the computer to make it look like I was checking something about her connecting flights and then said, oh, you have been selected today to receive a free upgrade to business class. She was shocked. I've never flown business class in my life. This is so amazing. Quote, at that time we were rarely questioned if we upgraded someone without a certificate. Over the next 20 minutes I found excuses to upgrade four other passengers one who worked for one of our top corporate accounts. One who was legitimately a frequent flyer. Can't remember the other reasons. But by the time I went to board the flight I had to tell SB that I was sorry but business class was full and couldn't offer him an upgrade today. The teacher I upgraded profusely thanked me again when she boarded with the rest of the business class passengers. Little did she know that it really made my day also. Love this. I bet that lady still tells people about the nice person who upgraded her to business class and how she had such a wonderful experience. Good for you plus one. Ya don't tick off the worker behind the counter, ever. VP Karen was getting kickbacks from SB. Had a kind of opposite experience once was government employee flying overseas on gov business with another guy. Outrank me. 
kind of a big deal trip. Got to the airport, one hour drive, and he wasn't there. Called him, he was mowing his lawn. I was like, international. Two hour check-in, diplomatic travel, orders. He said, chill out I'll leave soon. He arrived very late, they already boarded standby, so his seat was gone. I was wheedling the boarding gate person showing diplo papers, orders, etc. Please hold the door as long as possible. A hole shows up at the last second. Because his seat was given to standby, he got bumped to first class for a flight to Central Asia. I was back in coach. He had the gall to give me a s hash hash tea eating grin and say, see I told you it would be fine. Screw you Dave. Also screw your homophobic macho attitude half your team was gay and they all made fun of your idiotic prejudice. Is there a reason why agents don't do this anymore? There's been a few times I've seen business class with empty seats. I understand you need to upgrade FF and many people have status but I wish to see nice old ladies. Upgraded. I was flying to Texas from LA once with a stop in Phoenix. I have gotten for years never H had any problems but on my flight from LA to AS I threw up the whole way. I got off the flight and walked up to the counter looking as green was Kermit the Frog. I asked where I needed to connect the agent looked at me and said, had a rough flight? Typed a couple things into the computer and said, have a better day, when I got to the gate I was upgraded to first class in my connecting flight, warm towels, putting up my feet, and all the ginger ale I could keep down went a long way to making me feel better. I will never forget that agent's kindness. As a very frequent flyer with all the status, whatever who tries damn hard to be polite and gracious with airline employees I approve this message. Grin. Petty and I like it. Keep on doing the good work. May the universe grant you some well-deserved karma this week. Cherry Blossom smiling face with open hands. Shame you guys didn't have an ethics hotline. An SVP having frontline employees going against policy for their friends should not be taken. Lightly. This is the kind of thing people get a warning over and then fired on a second offense. MC for SB while simultaneously delighting a pleasant person? Winning all around. Smiley face. I always try to give extra special service to the nice customers. They earned that reward. If there was a way to give you more than one vote, I would have. I upvoted everyone else, too, though. Have a great day, all of you. You are rotten to the core. Lol. Perfect malicious compliance. Cool. Dot and that's how it's done. I have had that magical. Wonderful. We have upgraded you to business class once in my life. I think the check-in agent clocked my itinerary and saw my 10-hour layover. Sandwiched in between two 8-hour plus flights. And did it to make the experience less of a hassle. The only issue is when I realized how comfortable that flight was next time when I flew economy it. Was a real bugger knowing what was beyond the curtain. This belongs in our chaotic good. Had this happen on a flight back from the UK on BA in 2005. We were flying out New Year's Eve and Heathrow was a disaster. We got to the airport four hours ahead and immediately got in line. And waited. And waited. They had to start pulling people out of line to check in because flights were leaving in the line. Hadn't moved. They call our flight number to bypass the line. We go up. And it's an older woman who looks like she's just been run through hell. We thank her for helping us. Check our luggage. And my husband very very politely asks if there are any upgrades. We try and chat politely while we are waiting but also recognize this poor woman probably just. 
wants this day to end. She hands us back our passports and bag check stuff and tells us she put us in business class. International business class that has the fully reclining pod and bar service and dinner in the toiletry bag with socks and a sleep mask. It had been a rough trip and she was so so kind. Kind of surprised SB wouldn't have been told by Karen to just sign the F up for frequent flyer status that you your team knew the individual indicates sb likely flew enough to be recognizable if you enjoyed this video please check out our playlists full of similar content epic era cast is like doom scrolling for your ears please like share and subscribe